It's taken years of planning and has cost $80 million, but India has now successfully launched a mission to the moon. The craft, called the Moon Vehicle, will spend the next two years in orbit. It'll produce a detailed map of the lunar surface. The mission marks a major milestone for Indian scientists, as Damien Grammaticus now reports from Delhi. Chandrayaan 1. On the launch pad, in the dawn light, the towering symbol of an ambitious nation. Chandrayaan-1 will plant an Indian flag on the moon. Three, two, one, zero, plus one, yes. plus two. The vehicle has lifted three. up. The vehicle has lifted up. Propelling this country into the exclusive club of space powers. And it is in its uh, very beautiful, exciting, very good orbit. Some jubilation for the men who've made it happen. Perfect launch. When completed, the mission will put India in the very small group of six countries which have thus far sent space missions to the moon. Our scientific community has once again done the country proud and the entire nation salutes them. The cost of the mission, $80 million. On board the unmanned craft is European, American and Indian equipment. It'll spend two years orbiting the moon, mapping its surface in more detail than ever before, searching for water and minerals. At Delhi's planetarium today, excitement about the launch. Some have questioned whether India, with all its poverty, can justify the expense. But travelling to the moon is just the start of India's aspirations. Who here wants to be an Indian astronaut and go to the moon? Me! You think you will one day? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. India's moon mission is partly a statement of this country's lofty ambitions then, partly a demonstration of its technological achievements and partly practical. There should be benefits in satellite mapping technology. And India has done it all far cheaper than any other nation has managed to. Damien Grammaticus, BBC News, Delhi.